Hey guys, welcome back to another video. What we're going to be talking about today is Team Treehouse. So we have a different type of video today. We're in the other side, we're in the computer. And what Team Treehouse is, is it's a service that basically lets you go online and you can learn how to code. There's a ton of different languages you can learn. There's a ton of videos. There's a ton of great resources. And the service isn't free. Right now I have a, I have a seven day free trial, but while it's not free, you know, it's a lot cheaper than different alternatives. It's a lot cheaper than going to a boot camp or you know go having taking a college degree right i think it's like 30 dollars a month canadian if you take the monthly option and something like 180 dollars a year if you take if you pay per year so you know that being said you know that's way 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 cheaper than you know a ten thousand fifteen thousand dollar boot camp or a degree that's like fifty thousand dollars right so you know it's a great alternative and i would recommend this for people who are just starting to learn how to code right who don't have much exposure into this field or people that you know have know a bit of coding, they want to learn a language, and they want to kind of make that transition into being a full-time software engineer. I think this could be a great way to learn. Basically, the format of this product of this of Team Treehouse is that there's a ton of videos. Then there's uh, you you watch a, you watch a couple of videos. There's text accompanying it, so you can read as well. And after some videos, there's quiz questions that'll test you on the knowledge you just learned. And then there's also these things called workspaces where you can code yourself and run tests and these tests can either fail or pass and that determines, you know, if you move on to the next chapter and, you know, there's a ton of different projects and it's pretty sweet. So what I've, what I've selected, you know, when I made my account is that I want to, you know, get a job as a full-time software engineer and I want to be a full stack JavaScript developer, right? So if we, you know, resume, I kind of started, but you know, there's videos here, uh, this the, he, this guy's talking about basics in JavaScript, and you can see there's like around ten videos and some questions. So you can skip through the videos. You can you see here, you know, displaying job, displaying messages tells you how to code. And the cool thing is you can launch a workspace, right? So what this does, so basically you can click on these workspaces and you can launch a workspace to see what code the person in the video is working with, so you can get a more in depth perspective on what he's doing, right? What I think when you're learning how to code, you, the first thing you should do and what you should prioritize your time on is just coding. You know, don't be scared, just start coding, get into the habit of writing code using text editors and you know, really being in that mindset. And when you have something like this, you can just open up and see HTML code like this, this transparently and JavaScript code over here, you know, it's really awesome and really gets you into the habit of a software developer, right? Even CSS, there's a lot of cool stuff that you can look at and really get into the mindset of a software developer. So I'm a big fan of these workspaces. And what you can also do is you can run it and boom, here you go. It runs the code for you. Now you see the video has been going. There's a ton of different examples. He talks a lot about the basics of JavaScript and you can see, yeah, like I said before, there's a ton of videos and then there's some questions, right? After you take a couple of videos, there are quizzes that, you know, basically that you test your knowledge. So, right, there's, it ranges from, from multiple choice to, you know, fill in the blanks. You know, you can do stuff like this and submit your answer. And then, you know, so it really helps you kind of, if you don't know the answer, you can review the video, you can get help from the community, and then you can just skip the quiz. So, you know, there's a couple of different questions here and there to make sure you understand what you're learning. And then at the end, uh, there's code challenges. So I believe that this is uh, where you can run your code and, you know, it'll run through some tests, right? Yeah, so here you go. So basically, at the end of every module, I guess, I don't know what this thing is called, every chapter, uh, you get a series of challenge tasks and tells you what you need to do. There's a little, you know, text editor where you can write your code. And what you can do is you can preview it, right? You can go back to the editor. You can restart and check your work, right? Obviously, I didn't write anything, so it's going to fail the tests. But yeah, I mean, this is a pretty awesome way to learn. And the fact that it mixes, you know, little quizzes with text, with videos, it, you really, I feel like you really get an in-depth understanding of what you're learning, right? So along with that, like I mentioned before, there's a ton of different things you can learn. If I look at the, where's my homepage? If I look at the full stack JavaScript that I selected, right? There's basics, it's really in depth. So it goes all the way from, you know, basic functions, loops, to, you, you know, fetching fetching APIs. There's no JS for the back end, so you're working on the front end and the back end. There's NPM, which is awesome. It's basically a way to get different libraries that people made and use them in your code. Um, you know, and it really, what I would say is this really does give you all the knowledge you need to become a full stack uh, web developer, right? Because there's Express, there's Node.js, 
there's the front end of JavaScript and then all the way to SQL. So you really get the front end, the back end and the database, which is, you know, if you have that down, there's that's everything you need to know to, you know, build anything you want on the web. So in terms of like, um, it does this actually teach you anything? Obviously, I haven't done the course, but looking through these modules, it does seem like it will it would teach you everything you need to know to become a full stack JavaScript, uh, you know, engineer. And then, so I would assume that this, you know, applies to uh, the other languages as well. But what I really like to see is that, you know, there's a good community. There's a place where people ask questions. And from what I can tell here, it's awesome, right? Even as early as 13 minutes ago, people are asking questions. There's a lot of forums. You know, there might not be a ton of answers, but, you know, it, it seems like, you know, people are answering, people are getting the answers they want. And just, to be, you know, between one day, there's, couple dozen uh, questions and there's 8,000 pages of questions. So this makes me believe that, you know, there's an active community that if you don't know something and you want to ask a question that someone will probably answer, you know, give it a day or two, someone will probably answer, which you love to see, right? You, what, you, what you want is a community of people that are learning with you and that'll make the experience so much easier if you're, because you're, you have to understand you're not alone. Things can be frustrating, you know, you're going to run into things that you won't know the solutions to, but you can take you know, comfort in the fact that there's so many people going through the exact same thing. It's not just you. It's a normal thing to do. And it won't discourage you when you go through and see this active community on their website. Right. Another thing that um, I've realized about these websites, like, you know, Team Treehouse Code Academy or like Free Code Camp, stuff like that, is that sometimes a lot of people complain that, you know, the support isn't really good. Um, I've heard in the past about different different services that, you know, when you'll shoot them a message, if something's not working or something's broken and the support will either not answer or their answer won't really solve your problem. So what you want to look out for is that the customer support is actually good because you are paying for this service and you are kind of like trying to learn to code, you know, develop your career. So it's pretty important that the customer service is on point. So that's something I would look out to. I've, I have heard a lot of times that you know, these services don't have that, like, that good customer support. So just be careful of that. But other than that, I would say this is awesome. I would love to, you know, if I was if I was just starting to learn how to code or if I was trying to transition into becoming a software engineer, I would totally, totally consider Team Treehouse. Uh, this is not like, you know, a sponsored video or like I don't have affiliate links or anything like that. So like I have no reason to tell you guys to get to, you know, use Team Treehouse. So, you know, um, try it out. There's a seven day free trial. I would do it and let me know how it goes, guys. Also, feel free to let me know any other services you would like me to review. Uh, so far, they have a pretty good track record. Um, I'm a big fan of a lot of these and I think they're great ways to learn, right? You don't have to go to college. You don't have to go to a boot camp. You don't have to spend thousands, tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of dollars learning how to code. You can do a lot of this online and it really boils down to how dedicated you are and how much time you're going to spend focusing and the habits that you build. Right. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, feel free to like and subscribe and leave a comment. It'll, it greatly helps me with the algorithm and the, and the views. So would love that. And as always, have a good day, guys, and enjoy your coding. Take it easy.